NASA's begun exploring plans to send astronauts to Mars, but there's a catch. The $13 billion trip to the Red Planet would be one, one, one way only. There'd be no coming back. Ingrid Hipkiss reports. These are the barren plains of Mars. Possibly not a view you'd want for the rest of your life, but scientists say this could be home to future generations. NASA, the Pentagon and private investors are determined to find out if it's possible. The idea is that they'll start to transform the planet. The process is called terraforming, and it consists of releasing greenhouse gases into the Martian atmosphere and then living in places like canyon bottoms where those gases accumulate. Eventually, over time, the planet could acquire an atmosphere and a temperature that it's much more Earth-like. There's no oxygen on Mars. There is water, though, and experts say it has the most potential to sustain life away from Earth. Travelling there could take between six and nine months, but astronomer Professor Sergei Gulyev says it's a big ask. We have to dream. We have to be dreamers. Especially astronomers, they always dream about uh, different worlds. So I think we have to plan it, we have to think about it, but at the same time we should be very, very realistic. Jackie Moore has paid big bucks for a ticket on Virgin's first space flight. She says she'd go to Mars as well, even if there was no coming back. You can see that in so doing you are going to advance uh, exploration to another planet uh, and that's part of you know, what you would like to contribute to, uh, to this lifetime. Uh, why not? Earth, our planet, is a cradle of uh, humankind but uh, you cannot live in the cradle all the time. So this could be home, but not as we know it. Still, there's no hurry to pack. All going well. Blastoff is still at least 20 years away. Ingrid Hipkiss, 3 News.